So this video has one of two titles. It's either how I broke my one wheel and like maybe a deep dive on the inside with maybe a retrospective about how it was to own one, or it will end with a video or maybe right now I have a video of me riding it because I got it fixed. So this is what to do if the battery in your one wheel will not charge with the charger because you've left it sitting for a long time. So it kind of died on me. And now that it's dead, it's like $300 to ship it in to one wheel to have them replace the battery for me. And I don't want to pay that. So the only option left is to get to the battery and see if we can't bring it back to life. And you can't just do that with the charger because why would that work? That breaks pretty large with a couple more pieces on it. Maybe a little bit more engineering. You can make a one wheel that could turn on and charge itself when you plug it in the wall. Crazy thought maybe, but Let's see what we can do. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use this little impact drill, I believe it's called, to start taking things off. For those of you who want to do this yourself, what I've got here is a little pack of bits and what we have, I believe are called torque bits, the ones with the star on the end. And for the reference of what I'm using here, this is a T10. And the other one I am using appears to be a T30. And that I think is gonna be the only two I need for doing this little project, AKA ripping this apart. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started and we'll just have a time lapse in case there's anything interesting I need to say. Otherwise, I think I'm just gonna take apart every screw I see. All right, I've got all these top screws out. So I think this might pop right off. I think that's how I installed it actually when it came in. Okay, maybe this is just a me problem or maybe this is normal, but I'm having, this drill cannot seem to match the pressure. Oh, it can. You just gotta really lay in. Didn't know that, that's pretty cool. All right, I think we've separated the wheel from the one wheel. So, we have a one and a wheel. Okay, well there's that trap off. Got these other ones off, and I don't know how hard it's gonna be to lift this off, so we're gonna flip it over and look for more screws. I see more screws. If you ask me, this is a good sign. Let's see if future me can remember that the longer screws go in there. I might just pop them back in there. Oh, you know what? Nah. Pray I remember, right? So after going through and doing the removal, so when we put this back over, we did these four screws, one, two, or sorry, just one and two, and then on the back side, you've got some here, I believe, you might see this. You've got some on the bottom here, right? And once you've undone them, you can find this, which I wasn't sure, but I'm sure now is the pint controller module. So we can see there that that's how this controls. So this is not gonna be the battery. I don't wanna mess with this. I'm probably gonna put these screws back on and then switch over to the back side and start working with the um, thing. Actually, I probably won't screw back on yet just cause I don't know where I'm gonna need to go back into. But it looks like it's time to go into this side and go ahead and get this off. And then maybe there should be the battery under here cause I see the cable running and I would imagine that's the battery run. All right, play it off. And then we'll go ahead and tap to get these ones out. Boop, boop. Well, that's a development. I've got four knocks in the back of this one wheel. Well, it looks like they very much don't want me going and messing around with the battery. Uh, it says warranty voided if removed, but uh, the warranty is $300. So I think I'm gonna go through that warning. But if you've got the pint model here, it looks like we're running to break into this little spot in order to find out what we're doing. So, uh, I don't know exactly which ones are gonna start getting me into here, but we're gonna start ripping it apart. Any screw that can be undone will be undone until we get into this little battery bank and hopefully I don't catch myself exploding on camera. Hey, sorry I was popping in during the edit. Uh, was looking at stuff here and realized I didn't explain this too well, but I'm just gonna go ahead and synopsize what's happening here in this about 30 minutes condensed down. It's that we realized that the drill couldn't fit to some spots and that the bits we were using didn't fit these screws that are farther in the board that control like the pint control board has some security screws on it and they have them on the battery as well. The issue is that they were security torque bits which require to have like a little hole in the middle to prevent you from just getting there as easy. I used the T20 bit to get in there through these because it was security bit T20 but it wasn't the right size. I believe it's a 20 it's either a 0.5 like a 19.5 or a you know 20.5 because I was just barely too big if I went up a size and barely too small if I went you know on the T20. But at an angle, I was able to push really hard and get it to open up. I didn't end up using the drill because I was afraid of stripping anything. But this is really just gonna be every screw getting taken out. I ended up taking off the ones on the pint control board as well. I knew I needed to get to the battery. I just didn't know where I'd actually end up plugging the lead in to try to trickle charge it. So. With that in mind, I took it all apart, but just know you only need to really get into that back spot where the battery is. You'll see 
when I get in there uh, and from earlier I open up the pine control, technically I didn't need to go in there. I just need to go towards the back. But it does make it kind of easier if the whole thing's taken apart to get around and to learn. So that's what I did. Okay, I've gotten most of this opened up, so I'm gonna clean off this table a little bit. So we'll just... That should be close enough of a jump cut. But uh, yeah, we got all the parts here set around. I can put all the non-important ones off to the side here where I can't move the pint ones much, but this is a one wheel, a foot pad, battery, and the wheel. That's just the casing and housing and all for that. So at this point, I can't really disconnect anything more to be more helpful to Jackson tomorrow who might help me do this. He's gonna bring in a trickle charger and I'm gonna find out which of these wires I can get to is the one that might allow me to charge. And if I can charge this as it is, I can hopefully use this video to reconstruct this one wheel. Until then, I will see you all tomorrow. Different shirt, hopefully different me, different day. I will see you all then. All right, so either what I have behind me is the solution to the problem or a makeshift bomb, and I'm unsure which one. I'm pretty sure we're working with the, the solution here based on videos I've seen online. This this charger is, it's a, it's a DC power supply. What I like about this is it'll send voltage no matter what. So there's nothing smart about it. <laughs> That's the thing is like your old power brick's basically a smart charger. It'll actually like detect voltage. It'll detect amperage. It knows when to charge. It knows when to trickle. This will always, whatever volts and amps you put in, it will just send no matter what because that's her issue is that's not detecting that you even have a battery anymore. This will just do no matter, it'll do anything. If this revives it, we have saved ourselves 300 to $500. And uh, really the question is after that, can I reassemble it? But if this does work, uh, I'll link to the video where I saw the initial guy do this trick uh, because all he did was take two wires and just shove those, those Johns into the, like, the plug and connect them to like a DeWalt battery. So like this can be done with less equipment if you have a single power tool battery around seems like that can be the answer so we'll we'll jump back in if there's an explosion or if there's an answer hey you guys are popping in once again on the microphone on my headset because i thought i had some voice over here but i guess i don't but in the footage of the back you're seeing that the light turned on in the motor control which means that we have the ability to charge again you can see the battery brick on the top has a little red light on it it is actively charging the one wheel again so Mission accomplished. I don't know why I didn't get footage of us saying that in person. I think maybe I hit record at the wrong time because I think I'm missing a clip here. So sorry about that, but we did get it working. This is a successful method to do it. I will have the DC charger linked down below as well as the torque bits that we used. And maybe if I can find the torque bits that we should have had, I will leave that all down below for you all to use. Should you want to fix your one wheel? Because I think buying all of that together is still going to be less than sending it into there. And then you could fix it every time it goes wrong. So thank you all for watching. I'll have a little bit at the end here. We'll talk a little bit more. And then of course, just a little checkout where I'll show you that I'm actually riding my one wheel. I only got that on my phone because we were a little busy. So uh, thank you all for watching. All right, we're back for the final bit here. This is gonna be the reassembly, so I'm just gonna get a recording of it happening. I went ahead and screwed on a couple things just because I had a little bit of free time. And then after that, it's just more over not messing up the reassembly. And if my vibes are wrong, it's gonna result in a longer time putting it back together, of course. Uh, I'm using the camera for the main set, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep putting this back together. Honestly, I'll keep a list if there's any major failure, but really, I'm gonna put together, fail, put it, take it apart and put it back together one more time. But they need the camera for an actual money-making video. So I'm going to leave you all be and I will see you when this is hopefully a rideable one wheel. In case something happens to me or it before I get proof that it's back together on main camera. Uh, ignore this, by the way. I realized I had this back when uh, I thought they were cool. Ooh, there's a weird part about committing to it when I know I've had my hand in there. But... It works, we're zooming around the office, so it's been a good little trip getting it back up and running. I love riding this thing, so I'm excited to have it back up for this season. And we'll see about grabbing the charger and hopefully it charges just fine at home.